So this is going to be my fourth attempt at making this video. <laughs> um, basically, you all know that there is a magazine and ammo shortage going on right now because a lot of people are panicking over the impending assault weapons ban, should it pass. Um, one thing I want to talk about is courtesy and helping your friends out and your neighbors and just other gun enthusiasts in general. Um, I went to Walmart to see if they had any ammo and I got lucky they had some ammo. They had actually quite a bit of it at the time. This was a couple weeks ago. And there was a guy in line in front of me and he was waiting for the store clerk to come back because our store is pretty small. They don't usually have somebody back there in the in the outdoor department just sitting behind the counter. So I went and flagged somebody down and got him up there. And the guy looked at me and he goes, oh, what are you getting? And I told him I wanted some 9 and some 40. He goes, oh, that's what I want too. And I told him, I'm like, hey, you know, just get what you get and whatever's left over. I'll see what I need out of it. And uh, he looked at me and he was like, well, I want it all. <laughs> and I was just like, if that's what you want, that's what you want. And then he kind of looked at me again. He's like, I guess I don't need it all. So he only bought like, I think he bought six to 800 rounds of nine and 40 combined, which was probably a third of what they had. Um, I've been fairly decently stocked up on on 40 and 9 because I've been buying it little by little since I started getting into guns since I bought each uh, caliber so I only needed you know a couple hundred rounds I got you know 50 100 200 250 250 rounds from Walmart and there was still some left on the shelf because I don't want to be the person that goes in there and wipes it out so that when somebody else goes in and looks for it they're gonna be like there's nothing left for me um, being as I don't need it that much there's other people out there that have a lot less than me. I left some on the shelf out of common courtesy. Same thing with this, the Tool Ammo 762. I got this at a local sporting goods store um, that I told I wouldn't go back to just because they pulled all of their pulled all of their rifles, pistols, um, and magazines that hold ten or more rounds. They pulled them all just because they wanted to, which pissed me off because, you know what, it's bullshit. We all know, we all know where we stand on that. Um, so anyways, I went to a gun store north of where I live, about 20 minutes north, and he had quite a few magazines. Uh, so I just bought what I wanted at the time and left the rest for other people because I'm not hurting that much on them. I don't need them all that much. So I'm not going to sit here and hoard them and, you know, short somebody else on the ability to protect and defend themselves in the event that, you know, the assault weapons ban and the magazine capacity ban goes through. Um, you got to think about other people, too, as being a responsible adult and citizen, that the more people that have this, the better. Now, if you have all of it and nobody else has any of it, well, it's going to be pretty lonely if anything happens. So you got to make sure that other people have some of the same stuff that you have just because it's the right thing to do. Now, with the AK ammo, they had probably 600 rounds of it on the shelf, and I only got 200 rounds. So... You know, I took a third of it, but there's still 400 rounds for other people to get. Now, I only had like 400 rounds of AK ammo, so I really wanted to buy all of it. But you just you have to look at yourself and say, hey, I'll have 600 after I buy this. You know, that's good enough for now. The, it's going to come back. Ammo is going to restock the shelves eventually. It might be a few months. It might be a few years, but it'll come back. Uh, it's just, it's the way things go. There's shortages, there's surpluses. There's shortages, there's surpluses. It's what happens. But yeah, this video is basically just saying, you guys, help your friends out. I actually even bought a couple extra of these mags because I knew somebody 
who had an AR. They just bought an AR, and they wanted a few more mags for it, but they obviously couldn't find any. So I picked up a couple for them just to help them out and sold it to them. Um, he was very grateful. He was He's in the military, actually. And, you know, that makes me feel good. <laughs> Helping somebody out is always a good feeling. And I wish more people would, you know... You can panic, yeah, go buy what you need, but don't go overboard. Don't buy 70, you know, PMAGs because the shelf has them and you just want them and you're scared that you're never going to get another PMAG. Do you really need 70 PMAGs? You don't. You know, 15 to 20 mags per, uh, per firearm is probably plenty. If you have more than that, you know... Sell them to other people. Don't gouge them. Don't sell your PMAGs for fifty fucking dollars a a pop like they are going on Gunbroker right now because it's just it's just rude to me. It's it's people that have the same interest preying on the people with the same interests, and to me that's just it's cannibalism. We're cannibalizing ourselves, and it's stupid. And we should be banding together, helping each other, and not driving our own prices up and creating more panic for ourselves. Yes, there's things to be panicked about, but buying this shit shouldn't supersede writing your senators, and it shouldn't supersede you, you know, demonstrating peacefully that we need to defeat this legislature that's going through, or that's being presented. Um, it's great that people are buying stuff because, you know, it's pumping money into the economy, but <laughs> at what cost? I mean, you're buying... Five P mags for two hundred and fifty bucks. You, it's, if you got the money, awesome. But you're probably taking out credit card debt to do this, and then you're paying interest on top of that. So you're hurting yourself off in the long run. And it's, you know, something that you need to need to think about. So to sum it up, don't wipe out the stores of everything they have unless they only have a couple boxes and you need it. If they have, you know, hundreds of rounds of 9 or 40 or, you know, 762 by 39, go ahead and, you know, buy a couple hundred rounds, but leave some for other people. Just be a decent human being and don't wipe out the shells because I really want some, some 223, but you can't find it in my area. Can't find it at all. There's not a single box on the shelves. Uh, and that's, yeah, that's really all I have to say. Be courteous. Help people out. Don't, I mean, yeah. That's that's all. I can just keep saying the same thing over and over. But I'm not going to, so. That's all I got for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And, you know, maybe here in the short future, I might be doing a contest if I hit 250 subs. Uh, yeah. I think that'll probably end up happening. I might tweak it a little bit. I don't know. So, yeah. Keep an eye out for that video. Thanks for watching, guys.